Hey, at some points in our lives, most of us have struggled with fat loss, be it the bulging belly or the ever-increasing reading on that weighing scale. In this video, we'll discuss some common myths and misconceptions which prevent people from losing that stubborn fat. Coming to myth number one, a calorie is a calorie. Do you think a calorie from a donut is equal to a calorie from a fish fillet? Calories in a food indicate the amount of energy that the food contains. In fat loss, we are more concerned about the actual calories absorbed by our body. Fish is a big source of protein, which is relatively hard for our bodies to process. Our body spends around 30 calories to extract 100 calories worth of energy from protein. Hence, the net energy absorbed stays at 100 minus 30, which equals 70 calories. On the other hand, being a source of simple carbohydrate, it is relatively easier for our bodies to process a donut. Out of 100 calories from a donut, our bodies can easily absorb around 90 calories. This difference results due to the thermic effect of food, which is a measure of energy expenditure by our body for the digestion of different food products. Hence, in terms of fat loss, a calorie from a fish is much better than calorie from a donut since the energy expenditure required in extracting a calorie from fish is much more than a donut. Coming to myth number two, fat loss is about your willpower. Actually, fat loss is not so much about your willpower as much as it is about your hormones. One such important hormone is insulin. Insulin regulates how the body uses and stores fat and glucose. It works as a key for glucose and fats to enter our cells. After a meal, there is a huge amount of glucose available in the bloodstream. Insulin facilitates the uptake of this glucose in the body's cells to be used for energy, hence managing the blood sugar levels. Some cells in the body can take glucose from the blood without insulin, but most cells are dependent on insulin for glucose uptake. If there is still excess glucose available, insulin signals the liver to store glucose in the form of glycogen. The liver can store up to 5% of its mass as glycogen. Besides liver, muscles can also store glycogen in them. After these glycogen stores are full, insulin signals the fat cells to take up excess glucose to be stored as fat. In a nutshell, not only insulin makes you fat, but it also inhibits the breakdown of fats. So if you are looking to lose that belly fat, start first with decreasing your insulin levels. Myth number 3 is. Skipping meals is bad. To debunk this myth, let's take our ancestors before there was agriculture. Back then, the food was scarce and their primary energy sources were either fruits, berries or an occasional animal they hunted, which means they regularly swung between feasting and fasting modes as per availability of food. Since those times, our genes are adapted to phases of eating and fasting for considerable amounts of time. Besides, fasting has shown to decrease insulin levels, which initiates burning of fat. Not only that, prolonged fasting has also shown to induce a process called autophagy in the body. Autophagy is body's way of cleaning damaged, abnormal or malfunctioning cellular components, which means fasting not only burns fat, but internally heals you as well. So, is skipping meals really bad? No. If you don't have any underlying health conditions, then skipping meals or fasting every now and then can be really beneficial for you. These were some of the misconceptions which prevent people from losing that stubborn fat. So when you start your fat loss journey, remember these points. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, take care and stay healthy.